Welcome back to Yellowfin University and welcome to your lesson on Assisted Insights. Now Assisted Insights are a new feature in 7.4 so do make sure I guess you pay attention and learn your way through this. It is, it is new especially if you're upgrading from a previous older version. Um, so what are Assisted Insights? First of all let's talk about I guess what they are and where you'll find them and therefore then how you can use them. So you'll find these in two different areas. You'll find them on the dashboard as well as within the report builder when you're building a new report. There's a separate lesson about building or using assisted insights from the report builder. So this lesson now is just focusing on the dashboards. So from dashboards, what the assisted insights actually allow you to do is they allow a business user who is just consuming your reports to be able to learn the why without actually having to rely on either a data analyst or going off and building their own report. So in the real world, quite often consumers don't have the power to build reports or perhaps they're just incredibly time poor and they just don't have the time. You know, it's a massive waste of time if you don't have the ability to build a report and you need to know something. You know, you traditionally might write an email or raise a task in Yellowfin about to, a, to someone who can build a report and say, please build this report, I need to know something. A couple of days might even go past, weeks even, depending on what, where your office is and things, um, before you then get that answer. So we're all about trying to get to the why faster. So from the dashboard, when you use this Assisted Insights feature, you'll actually see two different options available. The first one is, is Explain, which basically actually allows you to go through and it's Yellowfin, I guess, slices and dices all your data to try to explain a particular KPI. So it's a very interesting way to be able to actually get further context around something apart from just that basic chart you might have originally had on your dashboard. The second option is Compare. Compare actually allows you to choose a couple of different values from a dimension and compare them across all the other fields that are within the data source. So really exciting ways to be able to get lots more information. The way these processes actually work is that they're running smart algorithms over the top of your data to try to find the insights. It's actually being ranked as well. So the first report you see should be probably the most useful. And as you scroll down, you'll see other reports that are highly ranked. And Yellowfin actually even learns. So as you tick things as being useful, it learns that these are the metrics that you're interested in. So it's incredibly clever. Um, now it presents this back to you with a data visualization, of course, and pairs it with some incredibly useful narratives. So let's just go have a look at how this works. I'm gonna exit out of my storyboard and I'll go and move towards a dashboard. Now this should work on any reports. If you don't see these options that I'm about to show you appear, please just contact your administrator because they do need to be turned on. So you can choose any report. I'll just choose our simple performance by region. And so what you're looking for is you wanna hover over a field and you want to leave your mouse there for an extra two seconds. You notice my normal tooltip and then my tooltip grows after two seconds to then actually give me some extra options. And that's where our assisted insights are. So this auto analyze button here, this is where you actually now hover over this and you get to choose whether you're wanting to just explain the performance that's happening here or if you want to compare Europe to another region or whatever your report's all about. So let's have a look at each of these. Firstly, we'll have a look at explain. So straight away, Yellowfin's jumping in, slicing and dicing the data, trying to find what other metrics or possibly other dimensions that may be related to this report. It actually doesn't take very long at all to run through your data, but of course that would depend on how big your data set is. Um, and then it can return back straight away some insights, which is incredible. You know, that's 30 seconds, if that, of wait time. So let's have a look at some of these insights. Um, so each insight will have a report heading as well as a chart and then you get the narrative And so you can actually sort of start to slice through these and work out what's of most important So this first report is comparing my invoiced amount in its local currency versus my global currency And if there's a relation to that That to me probably, you know, isn't as big of a deal There's just exchange rates affecting that So I'm not as interested in that report Let's move on to the next one the next one's comparing our invoiced amount versus the cost of the camp. Now this could start to be a lot more interesting. If we actually have a look into the narrative, we can actually start to see 
um, you know, some different ranges of our metrics. We can see whether there's positive or negative regressions, um, all sorts of different stuff, I suppose, through that. So I think that one's useful. I'm going to leave Hemtech. Scroll through again, I can see that there are invoice by country. That's very interesting. It's really interesting to actually see that there are six major countries which we're competing in versus then all these others that we just have an incredibly small presence. So that's also very useful for me. And you kind of get the point. I scroll through these and I pick out whether I'm interested in it or not. So I'm just going to untick these other ones for now. Now to say that the purpose of ticking and unticking is so that you can save these insights. So to save them, you just have the ones that you want ticked and you just come down here at the bottom and you can add a comment. So I can add an awesome comment into here. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, you can attach additional content as well if you like, just like a normal comment or task within Yellowfound. However, all I'm really focused on are those insights. So I'm just going to press our little send button. And that now gets saved to your activity stream, which is just here in the bottom. And you'll see you know, your other comments and things in there. And here is my comment I just made. So I can now see that and I can, it's even highlighted that report that we made those insights off as well. So that way if someone else came and read it, they know exactly what I used to slice to get this data. Um, and now those ones that I had ticked have saved into here. So really handy stuff. All right, let's have a look at the other option as well. So again, I'm going to hover over one of the columns, go to my auto analyze option and press the compare. Now this time I'm going to compare Europe with, and I can pick another region. So I'll pick the second highest, which is Asia. Again, Yellowfin is going to run through, run its algorithms over the data to compare specifically Europe versus Asia. So this one might take a little bit longer only because it's doing, I guess, a number of different things here. It's not just looking at standard metrics, I suppose. It's doing some different um, analysis. Okay, it doesn't take long at all, actually. Um, so here we get our pop-up again, same scenario. I've got a title of a report, I've got a visualization, and I've got some narrative to help explain what the chart is saying. First one here is a nice standard chart. I can clearly see the difference of my Asia versus Europe sales. Um, if I start to get into a bit more of the nitty gritty though, I wanna be able to compare other metrics, not just what I could see here. So this one's starting to look at my costs of camps, um, whether there's a variance by athlete country, demographics, it's actually starting to look at different dimensions now and different invoices. Uh, exactly the same scenario here where I can tick the ones that I want add a comment and save that off to the activity stream. So auto analysis or assisted insights are as simple as that.